Moments of the Century. From her first public appearances in 1927, fate and duty have patterned the life of Britain's Elizabeth. At five, Elizabeth made her society debut at the wedding of her cousin, Lady May Cambridge. At seven, she attended the Aldershot Tattoo in the company of her mother, then Duchess of York. King George died in 1936. Then, after King Edward abdicated his new throne, the Yorks became king and queen. Elizabeth, at 10, was now heir presumptive. Reviewing the girl guides at Windsor Castle, the little princesses Elizabeth, 12, and Margaret, 8, assumed new importance. In 1940, Hitler's assault against England began. Thousands of children were evacuated, among them Elizabeth and Margaret, to a country shelter. But, war or not, Elizabeth had her duties. She celebrated her 16th birthday with a review of the famed Grenadier Guards. On her 18th birthday, she took a rest from official duties. She now spent more time with her father. And since she was nearing the age of marriage, her choice of a husband was eagerly awaited. Elizabeth met Philip Mountbatten, formerly Prince Philip of the Greek royal family. Though born in Greece, Philip had been raised in England and was a British citizen. The news of their engagement broke upon the world. It was nice to have a man around the house, even the royal house. In November 1947, Elizabeth and Philip were married in Westminster Abbey. The official wedding portrait shows them a handsome couple. At Broadlands, the estate of Philip's uncle, the Earl of Mountbatten, the young honeymooners forgot official duties. Philip quickly won the hearts of Britons around the world. He was a cheerful addition to a family noted for its reserve. In 1949, Elizabeth proudly presented Prince Charles to the world. He was the first baby born to a British heir presumptive in a thousand years. This tiny sneezing prince stands next in line of succession after his mother. Philip, like Queen Victoria's Albert, is Prince Consort. Two years after, Princess Anne was born. Later, Queen Elizabeth would give birth to another son, Andrew. Monarchies pass, but Britain's royal family remains a symbol of permanence among the changing milestones of the century. <laughs> 